<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, be expecting the Super Nintendo World update that will be coming tomorrow because I had to get my car uh, an oil change. I do some car repair. It was a free little thing from Toyota, so that I had a appointment for that this morning. So uh, yeah, Super Nintendo World update will come tomorrow, and Halloween Horror Nights separate update will come on Monday. Um, because that is what you guys voted for. You guys voted for Halloween Horror Nights and Super Nintendo World to be separated. So, Super Nintendo World will be its own thing with the other part of stuff in the parks, and then Halloween Horror Nights will be its own thing on uh, the day after, starting from this week. But right now, uh, Super uh, Universal did a sent us little sneak peek of Mario Kart. I posted this is the video I posted just a couple days ago when that uh, video on um, the Universal announced it, and they announced the early 2023 opening date, which really is getting close to that, um, what you call it, those potential late 2022 soft openings. I'm still, I'm still betting on that around after Horror Nights, I'd say. Expect maybe a soft opening for Super Nintendo World. Stay on the lookout for that, and there's even a new rumor out there that a uh, construction tour is going to happen in August, so stay tuned for that. That means the land will be complete by then. And basically, ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. So, it's only 30 seconds long, just a teaser. So I with the cool logo says, get ready then, look at this. Okay, so this is something we've seen from Japan's version. Uh, right out of the way, it's basically identical to Japan's version, even the name Mario Kart's, Mario Kart's Koopa's Challenge uh, translates to Mario Kart's Bowser's Challenge here in um, Hollywood. So, here's the load station. Just fantastic. I mean, look how themed it is. You have the warp pipe right there. Whole bunch of regular pipes. You have the racing, uh, little racing um, arrows right there. And gears. It's like Kind of this is like the guess the boiler room or the garage of Bowser's Castle, and you can have the Mario Cup logo right there, which is cool. And even the design of the cars, I like the design of the cars because they're just like Rise, Rise of the Resistance. The back goes elevated, so you know you won't be looking at the back of someone's head if you get placed in the back row, which is fantastic. So I hope more ride vehicles are designed like this in Rise of the Resistance, where the back row is elevated because there's a lot to see, especially trackless rides, but and all heavily immersive rides, there's a lot to see. So, um, yeah, it's nice to have that back row elevated. Also, I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of universal rides, unfortunately, um, for any larger guests or guests, um, awkward dimensions sometimes with the restraints, um, they unfortunately can't ride the ride, but I've heard, at least from the Japan version, this ride is a uh, can fit all types of people, all shapes and sizes, tall, skinny, large, short. There's even like Harry Potter the Forbidden Journey. If you're too tall or if you're skinny but have broad shoulders, you can't ride because the, you won't get those three clicks. This should be able to fit all body types and all shapes and sizes, which is from what I've heard, which is fantastic. Hopefully, Universal, that's one thing Universal needs to do is be more inclusive with their rides. Um, so hopefully they continue with that. But let's, uh, Keep going. And there's another, and see, this is the part where it looks like it's hovering. It's on a track, though, but this is so cool. Imagine if these Mario Kart ride vehicles were hovering. That would look absolutely fantastic. Actually, let me go back because there's these little, right here, these little on the wheels. You can tap the if you have a power band, you can tap that on those wheels and get more coins and points to use throughout the land and to use on your Nintendo Switch account. So definitely again, I'd be out for sure be buying power band, but that's something that uh I didn't realize you can do. So yeah, on this ride it'll be you can getting more coins and points on your Nintendo Switch account and just on your power band account. But you have to tap that band right on that steering wheel right over here. So um well, I think there's a portion where they show you that, but we'll see. And again, oh yeah, here it is. So, this person wearing the power band, the cool little power band. I, for sure, I like the Mario one, 
particularly in the Luigi one. So hopefully the power bands will make its way into the future presentation store when the Super Nintendo World like has an actual opening date and maybe hopefully a few weeks before people will be able to buy power bands. Get ready. Yeah. You tap the band right there and then all of a sudden it's linked to your account and you get some cool points, which I love how it's really interactive and I love how for the Nintendo Switch fans and people who have a Nintendo Switch, uh, these points will be going right to your account so you can use them at home as well. So it makes, for those people, it really makes the $50 or $50 plus dollar purchase uh, more so, uh, you know, worth the investment. And then, so here's a, oops, sorry. There is, are the AR goggles. I mean, the AR, uh, gosh, I forgot to ask how the AR is, but um, again, how to film AR. So I I not trust whatever you see on a screen, on a video. I experience it for yourself in person because it's hard to tell. And people can say, oh gosh, an AR looks janky or looks blurry. But that's because they have to film it through a phone or a camera. Uh, so, yeah, don't trust the ARHC if you watch a YouTube video on it. Uh, just definitely go ahead and I try out the attraction first because I'm sure the air is much better in person. And those cool little visors are cool as well. And then there, as you can see, I have to keep going back, but it's moving too so fast. But this is the actual ride, guys. So, yeah, so there's two. Tracks basically it's like a men in black style, as you can see. Two tracks, and this is the Mario Kart. You're leaving, this is you leaving Bowser's Castle right here and going to the first track on Bowser's race course. And then there's two sides. So, from what I've heard, the right side, this side, is slightly longer. I mean, by maybe just like a couple of feet, but. And I think it's easier more to look at on the right side. Um, a couple of friends who have ridden the Mario Kart version, Mario Kart in Hollywood already, um, when they had the, team, uh, the cast member, they, they selected random cat or team members to try it out. They, um, they said the right side, slightly longer and more to look at. So if you could get the right side, definitely I'd say check out the right side. But both sides are fantastic. But... See this men in black style, and even the rides makes like men in black with speed. It's not fast traction, so I know Universal kind of the in that music video they did uh, a couple years ago. It seemed like it's going fast, but no, it's a slow dark ride. But it'll be sh shooting. Um, and there's a there's a little cloud guy, but it'll be shooting. Uh, going through the question qu question blocks and shooting bananas and all this cool stuff. Shells to slow Bowser's opponents. Two people here, um, and then it's funny because it makes you even think it's a racing. It makes you think you're racing each other because, you know, you're on two separate tracks next to each other, but still not the case. Interesting choice there, in my opinion. But yeah, so you'll be going along these tracks and do different um, different uh, courses. Think about, like, seven or so different courses. Highly themed courses, though. If you can... Somehow see the set pieces to those AR glasses, or take even take off the AR glasses right without them for a second. Um, the set pieces are gorgeous. There's animatronics in there as well, so definitely be on the lookout for that. So here's another course, and here's a kind of showing you the AR glasses and what looks like a screen there. But I mean, again, it's the AR glasses, so. There will be a screen involved, but it looks like from this point it makes it look like a simulator, but it's not. As it's on, it's on a track, and this is one of the courses. It looks like you're going through Princess Peach's castle here. There's Bowser, and you're racing against. Here's you guys, and Bowser. You're racing against Bowser and his friends. And there's again those sets. So look at this. I'm talking about the set pieces. I mean, if you go here. These are like again it's an actual you know actual set piece from the ride. You know, Bowser statue, there's massive chains. Looks fantastic. So, I mean, you may have an option to I mean the team members at least had an option to ride with or without AR glasses. And if you I I'm for sure gonna ride with and without them. 
because even if I get a film or not a film, I still want to go ahead and see um, these really cool set pieces in here because, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, it's very highly themed, or highly immersive themed attraction. Definitely worth a ride without the air glass so you can see the animatronics and all the cool, all the cool theme that they put in here. And then here is, again, Princess Peach's car got run over by a shell or a mushroom. Now, again, this is the AR part, but these, this, this, everything here, this is AR, but this is an actual set piece right there. This is the, as you can see, the track is moving along here. You're going to the next course through the, uh, the pipe into the next course. But again, this is an animatronic. There's such, like, these are things that are, like, really big. They're larger than life. I think it's going to be a really impressive attraction thematically. It looks just fantastic. And then here, again, there's it's a slight spinning here. Again, piranha plants going through, um, say, going to the water section. There's an underwater level here, and this looks like maybe the transition to that. And here's some piranha plants, all animatronics. Um, and the, all, everything here you see is real. Um, and I keep saying that because, you know, for some people, because it goes by so fast, if you're watching the video, like the actual 30-second video, it may be hard to tell which ones, which are real set pieces and which one is AR, but the from what they're showing you, because again, it's hard to show both, especially in a 30-second commercial. So that's why I'm going to break it down, slow down, and break it down here, and um, really go, dive into it with you. But yeah, as you can see, here's two tracks right here. People with the air glasses, again, they'll be spinning. These people look like they're facing backwards almost. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's move ahead. Another set piece, more animatronics, and uh, moving through piranha plant area here. And there is the Universal Cup. This is what you guys are playing for, or we'll be playing for. And hopefully, we can win it. And hopefully, we can buy it too. And it's called Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. Hold on. And uh, yep, there, Super Nintendo World, early 2023. And of course, sorry for the uh, end screens here. But yeah, so that was Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. Um, what do you guys think about the ride? Are you super excited for it? I am super excited for it. And are you going to ride with or without air glasses? Let me know in the comments below. Are you also going to be there in early 2023 or are you going to wait a little bit? Subscribe for more theme park updates and subscribe for more Super Nintendo World updates, which of course one will be coming tomorrow. Um, speaking of Bowser's Castle, a lot more, some details have been starting to put on there. We'll be checking that out tomorrow as well. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, press that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more breakdowns. I'll be breaking down the SeaWorld Surf Coaster next. So stay tuned for that. As always, have a fantastic day.